Howdy. Welcome to Cryptid Caravans, where we're hauling in new monsters all the time. Today we're going to take a look at the Little Miami River and the cryptid that dwells there, the Loveland Frogman. About 20 miles northeast of Cincinnati lies the little town of Loveland, Ohio. For the past 60 to 70 some years, they've lived with the legend of the Frogman, sometimes called the Loveland Lizard. It's described as a humanoid creature with skin like an amphibian. It possesses webbed feet and described sometimes as having a tail. It weighs around 50 pounds and stands only about 4 feet tall. The most defining feature which gives it its name is the frog-like head on top of its shoulders. In the summer of 1955, the local populace got their first taste of the cryptid. A businessman was traveling down a dark road that ran parallel with the Little Miami. It was on this drive that he claimed to have encountered three creatures which would fit the description of the frogman. He pulled over and watched these three creatures converse with each other until one of them became aware of his presence. Now here's where it gets strange. The frog held out what was described as a wand above his head which proceeded to shoot sparks. Huh. Well, obviously he just ran into three lizard wizards. Frogs are amphibians! I know that, but that don't rhyme. Well, to say the least, the businessman hightailed it after that, and no one ever came forward claiming to be that guy. The next big sightings came 17 years later, in 1972. This time the creature was sighted on two occasions by officers of the law. On the cold night of March 3rd, Officer Shockey was heading down Riverside Road. Which runs besides the Little Miami River, hence the name. He spotted what he believed was a dog in a field near the road. That is until the thing stood up on two legs. Its eyes reflected in the cruiser headlights. In an instant, the creature leapt over the guardrail, jumping down an embankment and into the Little Miami River. The second account, involving an Officer Matthews, raised the most suspicion. He was driving into town around St. Patrick's Day when he spotted what he called an injured animal, laying there on the pavement that matched the description of the cryptid reported earlier that month by Officer Shockey stopping to recover the animal from the icy road to support his friend's story he got a real shock when the thing jumped up and started running away from him scared him so much he took his service revolver out and shot at the frog-like creature actually he claimed i knew no one would believe me so i shot it god bless america in some accounts Matthew says it limped off over a guardrail and disappeared into the night. Other times, Matthews claims that he scooped up the animal and put it in his trunk. It was years later when Matthews changed his story completely, claiming that what he shot at was nothing more than a big iguana, possibly a lost pet. It had lost its tail, making it hard to recognize at first. Maybe he got tired of being ridiculed by his fellow officers. Maybe he got tired of telling a lie. Or maybe he got tired of all the rumors going around. The frogman went relatively quiet after that sighting. Except for a claim by a farmer that saw the frogman riding a bike. Yeah, I wish I could find more on that account too. He wouldn't make another notable appearance until 2016. A couple were out playing Pokemon Go around Lake Isabella when they spotted a frogman get up on two legs in the lake. Before leaving the scene they were able to catch some pictures of it that are expectedly grainy. Gotta catch them all. So you may be wondering why Loveland Ohio? Why a frogman? You are wondering those things right? Well, luckily, our good friend the Shawnee Indians might have an answer for them questions. There's allegedly a Shawnee legend concerning the Frogman. Back then it went by another name, 
the Shauna Hook, or River Demon. It stalked the Little Miami River, threatening the indigenous tribes. After being terrorized for too long, the tribes sent out their strongest warriors to battle the frog demon. Time to do a little frog gigging. They were successful in beating the Shauna Hook into hiding. It stayed in hiding until the colonial settlers chased off the local Indian tribes. So, is there a frogman in the waters near Loveland, Ohio? Possibly an old demon? Or do you believe Officer Matthew's account that it was just an ornery iguana? Real or not, it's become an icon of the Loveland community. Heck, 2015 saw the first annual Loveland Frogman race. Well, I've given you the history. You decide for yourself. <laughs>